Me and Kyle just watched as Edeled kept on getting shocked by the corrupted me. Still strapped to the table and not being able to speak because of the mouthpiece in his mouth. The corrupted me then looked at us. Well, I guess to proceed. Just one more shot. The corrupted me this time cranked the dial to full, and Edeled was shocked badly. I just ran to the TV and turned it off when this happened. Kyle and I were just speechless. Sam, I honestly don't know what to do anymore, Kyle said. I just don't want Edelet to do any more harm, that's all I want, Kyle continued. I looked up at Kyle. Seriously? You're still focused on destroying the Wii? Even after we saw Edelet get tortured like that? I yelled. What the hell is wrong with you? I yelled again. Kyle walked towards me. Shut up and let me tell you something, Kyle demanded. Edeled traumatized me. He really did. I remember every moment of each experience I had with him, and at no point in any of those memories was I calm, Kyle explained. I was frightened. 99% of all the experiences I've had with that thing, I was frightened. I was scared. What would happen if I deleted him again? Would he be calm and just tell me to stop? Or go swinging with his axe? I think he would swing his axe all over the damn place. Kyle explained further. I stopped him. Well, it's your fault for deleting him in the first place, not his. You're causing him pain. And if anything, you're the one who's doing harm. I yelled. Kyle looked at the Wii and then back at me. Kyle was silent. He walked over to my bed and sat down on it. Sam, there is a term called unnecessary evil, Kyle told me. It is a term that defines someone who does something evil that must be done in order to achieve a better outcome in a situation, Kyle explained. In this case, I'm trying to destroy the Wii because it's not just a better outcome for me. It's a better outcome for Edeled. If that Wii is destroyed, his spirit will go to heaven, Kyle explained. I had a look of disgust on my face. Do you really think I'm that stupid? I yelled. I know what you're trying to do, Kyle. You're just trying to manipulate me in order to destroy the Wii. You don't care about Edelet's spirit. You just want him gone forever. I yelled again. You know what? Maybe you are a con artist. I announced. Kyle was silent. It felt like millions of times that Kyle was silent. He's just thinking of more useless excuses. I know it. I see it right through his deceptions. But I now know for a fact that Kyle is a degenerate, manipulative con artist. Get the hell out! I yelled. Kyle sprung up from my bed. No, Kyle said quietly. Kyle had his eyes on the Wii, but as soon as he bolted to get it, I shoved him to the ground, resulting with him slamming his head on the wall upon impact. God! Dear God! Damn it! Kyle yelled out in pain. I walked up to Kyle while he laid on the ground, holding his head. I kicked him in the stomach. Ha! Kyle yelled again. Okay! Fine, I'll leave! Kyle yelled in a hurry as he sped out of my room, still holding his head and leaning forward. Finally, Kyle's gone. I turned on the TV and saw Edeled just standing there in the Me channel. Edeled looked upset, probably from the torture he endured earlier. Thank God you got rid of Kyle. Thank you, Sam. But 
there's something you need to know. This wheeze inside will be melted within the next hour or so. Edelet explained. What? I yelled in worry. Feel the Wii. I walked up to the Wii and laid my hand on the console, and I immediately pulled my hand away. The Wii was burning hot, not to the point of giving me a burn, but hot enough to make someone rip their hand away. God, that's really hot! I yelled. Yes, and this Wii's insides will melt soon, so I just wanted to say goodbye while I still can. Is there any way to stop this from happening? I asked. No. Soon you'll start to notice a lot of graphical and audio glitches. And then, the Wii will eventually become unusable until the insides completely melt. So, if you want to ask me any more questions before the Wii melts, go ahead while you still can. Well, I do have one question. Your name is Henry, right? I asked. Edela looked up at me. I... I haven't heard that name in a long time. But... I prefer not to hear it, please. It brings back so many bad memories. But... why? I asked. Please, Sam! I, I just don't want to hear it! Okay. I said quietly. I heard my phone ring. It was my mother. I left the room and answered. My mother told me that she was going to be late, so I needed to make my own dinner, which would be something like instant noodles. I told her okay, hung up, and went back to my room. This was when a thought came to me. The corrupted me was saying earlier that the electricity would make him forget things, so I wanted to know how much Edeled has forgotten. Edeled do you remember about the Me Channel or anything else? I asked. The, the Me Channel. I. I don't remember much about the Me Channel anymore. In fact. Where am I even? What else did you forget? I asked. Well. I know for a fact I forgot how to get back to the Mii channel from that hallway place. But before I could respond, the screen went static. I realized that this must be the Wii's insides melting, and that it was getting close to its death. But then, I saw the corrupted me appear on screen. This made me jump, as what was on screen was a close-up of its head. Wh what do you want? I asked frightfully. I want Henry in hell. That's what I want. I want him to suffer in the fiery pitch of hell. You're sick, I quietly responded. Hmm. You know that's the part I want that. Good, I quietly stated. You should pay him a little off. The corrupted me exclaimed with excitement. Don't, I yelled. There was a pause. Why so angry, Sam? Because I gave him reason. Therapy? It's not therapy. It's torture! I yelled out again. Oh, just shut up. It's not torture. It's not torture. I don't give a damn what it is. It's torture! I yelled. If you insist, uh, let's go. pay him a little visit. The corrupt in me exclaimed one more time before the screen cut to static. The static was on screen for about two seconds until the screen changed back to where Edeled was, the me channel. But this time, with the corrupt in me standing next to him, this was where I began to notice some graphical glitches. Textures would go all over the place at times, and the corrupt in me began to speak. Hello. How are you? I couldn't make out anything the corrupted me said, because the audio was all over the place now, too. You... You get away from me! Even though Edeled's audio was a bit off, too, I was still able to make it out. 
What little me? You can't. Nor does any other weapon exist in the way. I wiped out all the weapons from this collection. <sighs> After Edelid said this, the environment around Edelid and the corrupted me began to brighten a bit, revealing the tiles of the me channel. But there's no point giving you any more pain. This week. There's really no point in doing it. Edeled looked up at the corrupted me. Burn it now. They were both just silent after that. I waited for a while, but they said nothing to each other. So, I picked up the Wii Remote and pointed it to the TV. I saw the cursor appear on the screen with terrible lag. I saw the Me Channel icons appear on the sides of the screen, but with their textures severely messed up. I hovered the cursor over the corrupted me and clicked on it. A speech bubble appeared over it with the words corrupted me, but I noticed that the text was flickering a bit and realized that when the text flickered, it would read Austin. Who is Austin? Was he the corrupted me? Why did I care? I want nothing to do with the corrupted me. I held the B button to pick up the corrupted me. With terrible lag, I dragged him over to the delete icon. I let go, and then a text box appeared, saying, Deletion clears the voice, and destruction opens the gates. I didn't know what that meant, and the buttons at the bottom of the text box were hard to read, as their textures were all messed up. I decided to take a guess at which one was yes. I clicked on one button, and it appears I was right. After I deleted the corrupted me, Edela turned towards the camera. Thank you. Edela's voice was different this time. It was still sort of low pitched, but it also felt a bit higher pitched. It also felt less distorted. I sat on my bed and smiled and saw that the screen began to become more pixelated. I then laid down and closed my eyes. I opened my eyes. How long was I asleep for? I was feeling a bit tired and wanted some rest. Besides, I've been through a lot the past couple of days. I looked at my phone and got a text from my mom. She said that she would be home in about 10 minutes. So I got up and looked at the Wii and I was horrified with what I saw. I was looking at a Wii with many parts of it partially or completely melted. I now knew that at this point, the Wii was completely dead, as well as Edeled. I just sat down on my bed, thinking about what to do next. But then I looked at the TV, which was still on. What I saw on screen was a note. A note from Edeled. It read this. Dear Sam, if you are reading this, the Wii is now completely melted. My spirit no longer exists in it. But I am writing this to tell you how grateful I am. For as far as I can remember, I was never treated with as much respect and kindness as you have. I was bullied, and I was punished. While my mother always loved me and my brother, she was always in a sad state. I never thought that I would be happy. Not even as a me. But. After I met you, I felt some happiness. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for making my last few days on this earth happier for me. Sure, I was shocked, 
and put in pain. But what makes me happy is that you cared. You cared about me. You cared about my well-being. I never, ever got that in the past. So, one last time, thank you, Sam. And farewell. Sincerely, Henry. After I read the note, I turned off the TV and looked out my window. I smiled, and I hope that in heaven, Edelet smiled back. I will never forget him. My name is Samantha, but I'm usually referred to as Sam. I'm not really into what other girls are into. While most girls are into stuff like shopping, clothes, makeup, and gossip, I'm more into skateboarding, technology, movies, and most of all, video games. <laughs>